All right, what's good, YouTube? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Rob, and I'm back with another video. And uh, just getting the day started, man. Me and Chase on our way down to my uncle Lamont's house so he can go down here and kick it with my little cousin Royce, which they about the same age. But um, the weekend is coming to an end, man. Um, like I said yesterday, you know, I did a little fishing or whatever, did my thing. And that's really been like real therapeutic for me right now for you know some of the things that's going on uh in my mind you know just kind of like damn this road is bumpy just like trying to get myself together as far as like plans and things that i want to you know do so it give me some space to think as well as you know it's kind of like a stress reliever at the end of the day so uh what you got planned today bro what you do this weekend basically nothing because because you said you would get me before it turned dark, dark. yeah i did got, i got kind of caught up i got kind of caught up yesterday so so yeah jace didn't do too much of nothing this weekend but it's all good i'm uh trying to get him out today for a couple hours and i think he's going to his cousin's house or whatever all right i'm about to pull up in the park at this Christmas in July event that they're having. Let me see what's going on though. But they got some festivities going on out here in the park. And they got some food trucks and some vendors out here and stuff. You know what I mean? Going down. I'm about to pull up, find me a spot to park at real quick. My homeboy out here selling lemonade somewhere. He got a lemonade, his own little lemonade. I ain't gonna say little, he got his own lemonade stand. Sometimes when people say little, they, you know, they get offended. And I don't mean it like it, it's little, like it's nothing. So, hey, what you got oh, yeah. over here, man? Let me, in the back let, me, here. let me see what you got over here. Hi, how are you? That's my dude. He got the incense jumping. He got the oils. Man, I keep some of these oils on me when I be riding my motorcycle. Like when I be out, mm. got that bike, you know what I'm saying? I freshen up real quick. How much is the oils? Uh, $4 or 3 for 10 3 for $10, $4, $4, let me see, I think I got some wines real quick, man. What's the uh, best seller right now? We'll give you Jimmy Choo Ice. I done tore this $5 bill, damn. And I'm dropping money. All right, but that's two, my fine. I ain't mean to yeah. drop it on you though, but they go three, four. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, man. I Good appreciate looking it, out. man. Know what I mean? You uh what's what's your you got a website, right? You on, uh, are you on Facebook? Community Soldiers Can 2.0. Alright, community, let me see. Oh yeah, hit him up, gonna check out what he got on Facebook, man. Or just my name, Johnny Hudson. Now you set up at events and everything, right? Yeah. Like yeah. this. Yeah. And you got the shea butter, all the soaps y'all need. You know what I mean? So y'all can wash y'all's ass. Got the black seed oil. <laughs> got the oil, black seed the oil. Chew sticks. Oh, you got the oh, you got the chew sticks too, huh? Yeah. Them good for your like for your teeth, right? Yeah. And um, and what's up with the sea moss? Uh, I had the sea moss twenty dollars for the eight ounce jar. All right, all right. I know you be having that sea moss, yeah. man. And I got the turmeric soap with the neem oil, but those are seven. Right. All right, yes, this this is one of the uh, bros from the city, man. He do a lot of good stuff in the community, man. Like I, like he said, it's, he got the group organization, community soldiers, man. So if y'all see my man in the city, y'all see the van, because the van got all kind of stuff on it. So if y'all see the van, man, hit him up. Y'all see he promoting everything he got right there, man. Phone number, taxi. He'll deliver. He'll deliver. If you, if you hear in his city, he'll deliver. <laughs> all right. All I'm gonna right, go over here and you, check. Bro. Oh, you already know. I'm gonna go over here and check up. my dude out, man. He got a uh, that lemonade stand over there. Okay. Yep. I will stop back by and holla at you. Yep. All right, my boy Frankie Blue over here. Can we slide it over so that way you got the lemonade stand jumping? We gonna grab some of this real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So we're putting them together. All right, now, what's happening? What's going on now? Well, I can't if you're in the Canton area, man, and you see this, yes, sir. You, might not even be in Canton. you might be all over Ohio, man. But if you see Big Blues out here, man, make sure y'all show him some love, man. This is Big Blues' brother-in-law right here. 
That's Big Blue over there acting like he's busy, but he really ain't doing too much or nothing. Big Blue's nephew. Big Blue's nephew, Big Blue's sister, and Big Blue's other sister. You know what I mean? So, and this is Big Blue right here. What's, What's up, man? How you doing? Nephew, I told doing? him I said he over here acting like he doing something but ain't doing nothing. I have to try to conduct a little business, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I know. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm about to get something. I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get something. Okay. What you been selling though? The watermelon been selling. The watermelon been so, selling. The, uh, strawberry been selling. Strawberry. Let me get what I yeah, grew up, dog. Hey. hey. What's going on, man? Chillin', chillin'. I was just talking about the box. I said, I told the box. I said, I know Tony over here doing something today, man. Which one you get, the strawberry? I got the watermelon. Watermelon, how it's tasting? We good. It's good? I got we good. Like we good. good. How you doing, though? Yeah, man. Trying to survive. Yeah, man, same here. Working. Working with this cat. Yeah, me and Tom. Let's go right with my heart attack. Yeah, man. All right, Vernon got me together. You can't beat it. I'm about, to, I'm about to check it out. Check it out. Let I'm going to check it out. Now, normally I wouldn't be drinking this because I know it got sugar in it, but I got to support my people. I might drink a little bit and then, you know, maybe get a rest of uh, chasing something. But they, go, they do got tacos over here, though, man. So I'm trying to see. I didn't already. That's Y'all remember that. I, I tried. What's that? Glorine, Glorine is out already. Let's walk past and see what we got going on. How you doing? What's going on? Hey, you. Where you out of? Huh? Where you where, where you from? You from Canton or? New Philly. New Philly. New Philly. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got the big potatoes. Oh, that might be the joint right there. Damn man, I might have to break. I might have to go ahead and break that down. Now you, you uh you got an uh, Instagram page or something like that? Yeah, my business card. card. Yep. All right, in case y'all want to get with them, this is phone number right here. In case y'all want to match y'all's next event, man. What's your name? Miguel. Miguel, hit Miguel up. All right. Thank you. Yep, no problem. I got to show y'all this one. This is what he was just explaining to me, mate. It's, it's a cherry. Juwan, what's in this? Cherry cobbler. No, no, it's a cherry, cherry cheesecake. cheesecake. Cherry cheesecake. That's crazy. Yeah. It's okay. fine too. He off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dude out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> you all right, man? Hi, Sandy, this is my uh, line brother. How you doing? I just was talking about having to put a motor in this mug. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit. It ain't gonna, gonna reach it. Let me go throw this away over here. Let me get my bro off the side of the road, man. You know, you gotta be there for your people sometimes, man. I just happened to be looking at my phone and he sent the picture of his tire flat. He got a flat tire over here, so. He about to get a tow, but he didn't have his, thank you, but he didn't have his insurance card. So, we gotta go to his house, grab his insurance card. See. Dang, how did that mud go flat? Right. Oh, it's the inside. Yeah. Yep, mine about to do, I gotta, I gotta get me a new tire. Shit, taking too damn long. Man, I'm about to have to get one too. I gotta get two tires. Nice you, Vegas. Oh, Vegas. 
He ready to get his colors. So I got my dude to the house, uh, hooked this trailer. Y'all see we hooked the trailer up in my car. Got him to the house, man, so he can do what he need to do and dropped off his passenger. She, she said I got a white name. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I really just want to speak on this, though. So being there for people is important, man. I don't know, you know, if everybody don't have nobody. You know what I mean? Some people ain't got nobody. So let me adjust my color on here. So some people ain't got nobody. You know, some people ain't, don't have nobody to call on. And like one thing that I'm like trying to get better at, because I was, you know, one of my one of my bros called me out on this too. Like not saying that I'm a bad friend. And I talked, I think I talked about this in another video. So not saying that I'm a bad friend, but it's times, like I said in the other video, that I try to like do for everybody. And sometimes I come up short instead of telling people that I can't do it. But in this instance, in this case, I was available and, you know, just trying to be there for people because everybody needs somebody to do something for them at some point or another. So you don't want to be that person that can't nobody count on. But, you know, when it's your time and you need somebody, then you calling somebody, you calling, you calling around trying to get somebody to pull up on you and help you get you off the side of the road or whatever it might be, man. You know, be there for your bros. Be there for your woman. Like, just be there for your family. Be there for your loved ones. Just try to be there for people, man, as much as you... Like, not... Like, you ain't always gonna be able to be there for somebody. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. But, you know, just try to be there for people as much as possible. You know what I mean? And that'll go a long way. Sometimes you're gonna be there for people who may not be able to return the favor for you because they're selfish or self-centered. That's all good, man. You're gonna be rewarded, though in the long run, you know, for being, you know, that type of person. But, uh, yeah. <laughs>